Welcome back, everyone. Fall is here, and for many of us, it's brought a rough bout of fall allergies. We'll learn more in our Hilltop with Baptist. What causes seasonal allergies and who gets them? Hi, I'm Dr. Justin Garner. I'm part of the otolaryngology team at Baptist Memorial Hospital Golden Triangle. For many people, they find that fall has arrived and the blooms of spring and summer have faded, but they're still sneezing and sniffling. Fall allergy triggers are different, but they can cause just as many symptoms as you have in spring and summer. Like all allergies, hay fever stems from a glitch in the immune system. Instead of attacking harmful foreign substances such as bacteria and viruses, it tries to neutralize allergens that ordinarily are quite harmless. In this case, weed pollen grains and other substances that fill the air from August through October up until frost. In someone with hay fever, inhaling these tiny particles triggers an avalanche reactions and resulting in the release of histamine, which causes sneezing, congestion, and fatigue, coughing, post-nasal drip, itchy eyes, nose, and throat dark circles under the eyes, and asthma attacks. Many plant varieties can cause hay fever, but the many varieties of ragweed that grow in North America are the biggest threat. Though the weed usually starts releasing pollen with cool nights and warm days in August, it can last into September and October. About three-fourths of people who are allergic to spring plants are also allergic to ragweed. Join us next time for Health Talk with Babis when we'll discuss some of the other fall allergy triggers. Mail your topic suggestions to Health Talk at WCBI.com. Health Talk has been brought to you by Baptist Memorial Hospital Golden Triangle.